Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. To quickly convert a path into a vector mask, select the path, hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, and click the Add Layer Mask icon. To duplicate a vector mask, hold down the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on Windows, and drag the mask thumbnail to another layer. I'll select the layer and reposition it using the Move tool. To add additional paths to a vector mask, First, be sure to target the Vector Mask in the Layers panel. Then, use the Pen tool or one of the Shape tools, being sure that the option is set to Path in the Options bar, and drag out your additional paths. If the Vector Mask is deselected, or if the Vector Path is hidden, be aware that drawing with the Pen tool or the Shape tool will create a new Work Path instead. Use Command-H on Mac or Control-H on Windows to toggle the visibility of the path. If you ever need to invert a vector mask, select the path with the Path Selection tool and choose Subtract Front Shape from the Path Operations in the Options bar. To soften the edges of a vector mask, use the Properties panel and increase the feather amount. To decrease the effects of the mask and reveal the contents of a layer, use the density slider. Finally, when copying vector paths from one document to another, be aware that if you already have a layer with a vector mask and the mask is not targeted, when you choose to paste the content from the clipboard, Photoshop will replace the contents of the vector mask. I'll undo that and this time I'll target the vector mask and now when I choose Edit and then Paste, Photoshop will combine the two shapes together.